Hey, this is Grant Nader with State of the Spark here today to do a quick book review. I was given a book by my buddy Daniel Rivera. Go ahead and friend him uh, either on YouTube or on Facebook or however he's connected to State of the Spark. But today he hand or recently he handed me The Way of the Superior Man by David Daida. Um, Daida, I think that's how you say his name. Um, the subtitle is A Spiritual Guide to Mastering the Challenges of Women, Work, and Sexual Desire. Now, a quick note about this book is, um, and and I'll tell you some background on why I chosen to read this book, especially now why I think you should as well. Um, first and foremost, in the introduction, he offers a really good introduction where, yes, he's talking about the superior man, and yes, he's talking about the challenges of women, but he clarifies in the introduction that he's not necessarily talking about uh, a person with a male genitalia or a female genitalia as much as a person with the essence of the masculine or essence of the feminine. Now, I've been talking about this for a, a little while now, and if you've hung out with us or if you've been on State of the Spark, I don't usually talk about this in public because sexuality is still a tough thing to talk about, uh, especially when we're dealing with... With, uh, religious people or spirituality at large, but I think it's important. I think it's important that we pay attention to gender aesthetics and we, we do this in art, we do this in lots of ways, and especially as we've been doing, uh, as we've been encountering a lot of equality push amongst homosexual marriage, amongst, uh, in the workplace, and equal pay for women. These are really important issues, and it's really important that we find equality, but the one thing that I think is really important that David calls out is, there's, in our approach of it, there's been some, some, some small negativity that we just need to navigate, and that is, is we're losing, um, a sense of identity. Individuals are losing or getting confused in their own gender identity. So if a man has a very strong masculine essence uh, and a woman a very strong feminine essence, uh, or invert that, if there's a man with a very strong feminine essence uh, or a woman with a very strong feminine essence or masculine essence, um, we have a little bit of both in us if we, as we know from studying yin and yang. But um, the traditional gender roles obviously are breaking down. There's a lot of good reasons for that to happen. There's a lot of equality reasons for that to happen. But in the interim, what I've been pushing for in State of the Spark and what David addresses here in his book is that how are we going to, as a culture at large, start to let it be okay if a female has a strong masculine essence or if she has a strong feminine essence? Are we going to be okay with looking past just the anatomy? and being able to actually engage with that person's essence as their essence is. So, if you've been around Say the Spark, you know we talk about the disc and temperaments. You know we talk about maturity in those temperaments, but another way to triangulate how to engage with someone or communicate with them is also understanding their gender essence. So, a woman might be very comfortable with dealing with babies, and a man might be very comfortable with dealing with babies, um, but the person, male or female, gender-wise, who has a more masculine essence will be more driven by their mission or by uh, conquering, uh, and the one with the strong feminine essence will be much more comfortable, again, male or female uh, anatomy, they'll be drawn to the relational components. There's nothing wrong with either of that. It's up to us to be able to engage with people regardless of that. So that's why I love this book. I think it's timely. Now, it's been around for a little while. There's great reviews from people that I respect a lot. I recommend you pick it up. It's not for those who are not comfortable talking about sexuality because he does talk a little bit about sexuality and you have to be able to engage with that, but he offers a lot of great, um, a lot of great context. So I, I definitely recommend you pick the book up. Check out a lot of our resources under the tools section to stay the spark and we'll catch you next time.